So the brief we got was to take uh, an existing building um, in Texas and to develop that existing building as well as creating a new section uh, on the side of it um, that was going to be developed into a natural sciences museum. So the competition itself took place whilst we were still in Alabama at Auburn University, which uh, was the university which hosted us whilst we were out there. So the deadlines were really tight, so the, the competition day itself, we got set our brief at 7am in the morning, um, and then we had until 11 o'clock that night to submit our full proposal, uh, which it, it seems like, you know, quite a few hours, but in practice, it's a really short period of time. You think you've got a lot of time to do the competition. It's not enough time, not, not in comparison to how long it takes to do a tender like that in, in the real world. So the way we overcame the challenges during the competition, we worked really well as a team. We Fortunately, we all got on really well and we all kind of knew what our roles were. So we were able to manage ourselves and in turn the actual project, the overall uh, global project, came together really nicely towards the end. I wanted to compete because it gives you a lot of confidence. You start to build international relationships um, and it was taking part in something that I didn't actually think I'd be good enough to, to take part in. And, and I think that's why I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to go to the competition because it was a brilliant opportunity. Um, it's not often that something like this comes around where you're able to go all the way over to America to compete in an international design and build competition. Um, to be able to do that and to actually be the first all-female team and to actually come out having won um, was just absolutely amazing and it's an experience that um, I don't think I would have been able to get any other way.